lights, camera. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Bunny. Today we are going to be making Titi's dip. And I'm Titi. <laughs> it is buffalo chicken dip, courtesy of OU Palmer Place Girls. What? It's college, it's college dip. Okay, great. We made this in college. Okay, great. We're gonna make that dip that Titi made. What's the first step? What do we need? Whoa, what so, we need? first step, we need this guy. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> so, first step we need, what is that? This is cream cheese, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, what is this? Philadelphia, cream Philadelphia cheese. Philadelphia, cream cheese. I'm opening it. I'm trying to open it. I can't open it. My roommate showed me an easier way. Let me show you, because apparently I did it wrong for so many years. Thank you, Rachel Vitali, for showing me the correct way to open a bar of cream cheese. Smart, smart Rachel Vitali. Ooh, smart. That looks like whipped cream. So now, you have to smash it. Smash it. Yeah, you gotta spread this all along the bottom of the pan. Got it. Show the camera your muscles. <laughs> I got them. You got them? I'm not missing them. You're not missing muscles. <laughs> TTS. You are. TTS, no upper body strength whatsoever. You are getting cream cheese all over me. Ew. Oh, you cooked it, right? You yeah. boiled it? I did. So smart. So smart. Okay. So you boil two chicken breasts for about 20 minutes. That's the first step, actually. And then you shred it. Yeah. Do you think I'm the host she has to edit the most? They may not know what teats means. Teats means little teats. Right? That's not what that means. Oh, see, that means teats. <laughs> That's not what that means at all. Spread it. Because you're a mess. <laughs> what? Um, How dare you? Then you need one full stick of butter. Thank you, Vanna. Come on, Vanna. Do you know who Vanna is? Yeah, Vanna White. Yes, good job. Wheel of fortune. So you put the butter in yeah. a bowl. And then you melt it, right? And then you have to melt it. Do it. <gasps> Do we have ranch? That was an ingredient. We forgot at the I grocery store. Uh-oh. That's what happens when you make me sidetrack at the grocery store. Is there a substitute for ranch? That's not ranch. Uh-oh. Spaghetti. Houston, we have a problem. We cannot find ranch. That's because somebody want, wanted to go through the grocery store like a bad woman. Like a what? Like a mad woman. <laughs> like a bat out of hell. I would not let me concentrate on our grocery Hi. list. Hi. George Hi. Is the one distracting you. Okay. How vital is that ingredient? Pretty vital. Hi. We can take a pause. I can go get some ranch. Because we can't make this dip without ranch. All right, tell your viewers we're pausing. And we have to pause because somebody. Don't blame me that you forgot ranch. Somebody. <laughs> Michelle forgot the ranch. Somebody. Named Michelle. Goodbye. She has to go get the ranch. Somebody was not letting me think thoroughly in the grocery store. I blame George Glass. So I. Forgot the ranch. We will be back after a brief commercial break. 
What do we have to go get? Your melted butter, melted stick of butter, okay, and then you mix it with Frank's red hot sauce Is it to hot? make buffalo, huh? Is it very hot? It's not very hot. So you're gonna pour it in here. Holy cow, it's a lot of hot sauce. It's not that much. That is a lot. It's not that much. That is a lot. Okay, so a lot of hot sauce. Twelve ounces if you want a little kick. Well, there's no spillage. Do that. Words. Spillage is a word. Pour and butter it onto the, the mixture chicken. on top of the chicken evenly. Spread her out. And then you kind of just want to do a little dab. You have to do a little dab to the hot sauce to make sure it's all over the chicken. How do you dab? Ow! You're hitting Ow! your forehead as you dab. Ow! Ow! Just a little drizzle on top of your, oh, that's not okay. well, you know, you mix it around. Then we're gonna dab this around too. Can you do it gentle so it's not like splashing me in the face? <laughs> okay. Gentle, because you don't want to mix your mixture. Okay, just a tip from something gentle. Gentle. Stop popping. Why? Because we're making a video. Okay. Excuse me, somebody's grabbing my legs down here. And for the very last step, some cheese. Guacamole. Well, no cheese. Just cheese. Cheese and guacamole. We eat it every day. Cheese and guacamole. <laughs> God bless. God bless all you every parents day. out there. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of cheese. Spread the cheese. With my hands? With your hands. You wash your hands. Did you wash your hands? Yeah, I did. Wash like, your hands before you cook. Just like that. Okay? And then, once the cheese is spread across the pan evenly, the entire pan, make sure it's... Stop playing. We're videoing. You're bad at filming. Once the cheese is completely spread, then you put in the oven for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. See you in 15 See you in 15 minutes. This is how we do it. Wait, wait, keep me on and Do it. Do you. So the next step is simply eating it with Tostita scoops. So, let's get this back. Open it. When you get it out of the oven, just don't eat it right right after you get it out of the oven because it's still hot. Okay. It's delicious. Is it good? Have you met TD? Um, I am a wizard in the kitchen. Okay, I'm gonna try. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is it too hot? Hot. It's that is, it is really hot.